Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So, had a little bit of time, so I'm trying to work my way through all of these requests. So, we have Nini Leaks. So, it, Nini. <laughs> she decided not to go back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and she's trying to get her own show in a lounge like off the ground so we're gonna take a look at that see what is in store for nini spirit please join us and help us to answer some questions about nini leaks what is going on for her future her career what is to come let's see i'm gonna make it on her own and be successful spirit thank you so much for joining us and answering these questions Clear. We just want to the intention of clarity and understanding, and not with any ill intentions or any negative intentions. Thank you, Spirit, for joining us and answering. Thank you for blessing all of our sisters so much. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> Nene did feel really blindsided and lied to by Bravo and that if she stayed that she was just putting herself at more risk for being used or hurt or whatever in the future. So she chose to walk with this strength card anticipating this four of wands moment. She thought She's going to go out. The world's going to embrace her. Everybody's going to be like, well, Nini was the star and screw Bravo and Andy and all of them. And we're supporting Nini. But unfortunately for her with this, you know, ending to things, she's had to work a lot harder than she anticipated. And with this Four of Pentacles, and this Ace of Wands, it's telling me like there hasn't been the amount of offers that she thought was going to come in or when they were, they were lowballing her and it's like, okay, you know, no, I'm not going to take $20,000 to do this whole show for you. Like give me a hundred and they're like, ah, uh, we'll give you 30 and that's it. So she's not getting what she thought was going to be coming to her with all of this also she thinks that Andy is stopping things behind the scenes like she feels like he's sabotaging her and going behind her back and telling people that she's hard to work with and not to deal with her so she is having a little bit of a difficult time and being able to get things going the way that she anticipated that they would be however it's Nini she's the queen of wands she's gonna work her ass off and she will find a way to make things happen for herself with this lover's card and this two of cups and the three of pentacles it's talking about that you know there's different partnerships that are coming our way some's good some not so good she needs to definitely use her intuition so that she can avoid you know signing on with the wrong people and having it blow up in her face because it's like with this temperance I keep getting like just wait just wait let the let the dust settle do some of your own things you know don't worry so much because if you just out of panic jump to go work with whoever's offering you something it's not going to work out the way that you're expecting right so uh, spirit what is going to happen in the future with Nini's career because she had some weird pilotist, some show, and people were saying it looked like she filmed it on an Android. And then she said, oh, no, that was just like a test shoot or something or tryouts. And then people were mad because they're saying that she's using Gaiman to try to boost herself up. And so, uh, you know, I haven't heard anything else about the show since then, but... And of course, Nini's been beefing with Wendy and other people. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
which are we really surprised? I mean, both Nene and Wendy can really get into it with people, so I kind of would expect nothing less <laughs> from the two of them, that they would constantly bump heads and then be friends again and then bump heads and then be friends again. All right. Well, this I think that this is Wendy right here, too. Because just like she felt like Andy was stopping her bags and trying to keep people from working with her, there's a female Queen of Swords energy person that she sees as trying to manipulate people to not, you know, want to work with Nini and to walk away from her. And she feels like this person, you know, is, I think it is Wendy because they know a lot of people. They have a lot of connections. They know the right people to call to make sure that stuff doesn't happen for her. You know? And it's like, as much as we can be like, oh, Wendy's kind of a mess right now. Wendy does still have connections. You know? Especially in certain markets and things that... Because Wendy's got lifetime deals and production companies and things that she can make a few calls. And... Any of the deals that Nini has been presented with right now, too, they're not in her best interest. It's shady people, shady shit, selling your soul, you know, not getting any return on your investment. So she really does need to, like I said, just sit. Sit for a minute, Nini. Let it just happen. You know, let time go by. Let the pandemic finish. Because she does have to make a choice here with this death card to walk away from something. So, you've already had to walk away from Bravo. I feel like you're going to have to walk away from another business venture. And I feel like it is going to be this like weird show that you're trying to get off the ground. Because I just don't see that going anywhere. Um... There's going to be some talk about her trying to come back to Bravo, but Bravo's side won't have it. They're done with her. So even if Nini isn't completely done with them, they're done with her. So, because it's just like, oh, let's go back to where we used to be. Let's go back to the show, even if it's just like part-time, you know, but let's work together again but then here's the show being like we don't want you <laughs> we know that you quit and we didn't fire you but this time around you're fired you got fired on your day off nini <laughs> like you're not coming back um you guys i just don't get any cards of her really being successful with anything right now or really coming up in the near future it's gonna be one to two years, Nini, before you're able to really be back out there in a positive way to where people are wanting to watch whatever projects you're involved in, support it, because you have this hermit where we're in this wait and see moment with you, but all leading up to that, we've got the moon, we've got the four of swords, we've got the ten of swords, we've got the star, we've got the three of swords. There's a lot of business shit that's going to fall apart, Nini. A lot of deals that start with this Page of Pentacles and this Knight of Wands. But then with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, it ends up not happening. It falls through. Then here you are with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups after this Hermit period where you are able to bring something back in. And it is something new that you start building. So... It could be like a brand new show. I keep still feeling her being in some sort of ensemble cast with other women. Like maybe it's a video, a TV series, you know, a reality show following Nini and her new group of friends. The same way that we sort of saw. I hate to compare it to that, but that's just the way that it feels. Like that I am Kate. You know, when Caitlyn Jenner came out and did her reality show. And she was showing what her life is like as an out and proud trans woman and connecting with the trans community and what does she do now, you know, and all that stuff. 
I feel like Nene is going to come out with something like that where it's like, here's my new group of friends, you know, and it's almost kind of like a basketball wives. I am Kate slash Real Housewives of Atlanta kind of thing centering around Nene and her group of girlfriends and what they do when they go on all these girls trips to spas and wineries and shit. It'll be entertaining to a certain group of people and people who really are fans of Nene. I don't think it's going to be as big as the Real Housewives was. But Nene will find some way to get herself back out there again. But again, a lot of this is karma too. If you're hard to work with, if you're running around telling everybody that you're better than them, at some point people get tired of it. You know, and I do like Nene and I don't think that she's like the worst person ever. But I think that... It's just everybody, when you get too much into that ego, you're going to fall down at some point, right? And then you have to pick yourself back up and rebuild. But everybody's got to face karma at some point or another. So Spirit, is Nene going to end up finding herself successful back on TV anytime in the future? Spirit. She will with this Ten of Cups and this Knight of Cups. But again, like I said, it's still not going to be as big as what things were. But it is, you know, this with the Seven of Pentacles, she has to work really hard to bring that in for herself. And before that, with this Judgment and the Six of Swords, there is a lot of stuff that isn't going to work out for her. So again, like I said, another year or two. She'll be in a better place as to make things happen. But right now, she just needs to work on herself, rebuild some of the connections that she's broken, and let the dust settle. Because as long as she's still fighting these people, there is still going to be a lot of blowback and pushback towards her. So anyways, guys, I hope that helps. I love you all so much. If you wanted to book your own personal private reading with me, Use code BELLA40 on my website for 40% off your first reading with me on PsychicBellaLove.com. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, PsychicBellaLove. I post a lot of just random spirit messages and predictions on there as well. Um, and I also notify you guys of sales, things like that over there. So I hope you all are having an amazing beginning to December. Let's let this month go out with a bang. And I will talk to you guys all soon. Bye.